Hey everyone, today we will learn how we can add email and password based authentication to our Next.js app in Superbase. This is actually a video series about Next.js authentication with Superbase. In the previous videos, I have shown you how you can add Google and GitHub OAuth. I will put the playlist on the description. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to set up is actually an SMTP server. The SMTP server will be used to send emails for sending confirmation link or OTPs or reset password links and so on. So let's go to this custom guide link. And if you scroll down, you will see a bunch of recommended services. The service that I'm going to use is Bravo. So first, uh, create a new account. If you haven't already, then you might need to create a new organization as well. Once you have done that, go to this uh, drop down and go to this SMTP and API page and then you will have two options one is SMTP and another one is this API keys you actually need this SMTP not API keys and you need to generate a new SMTP key and let's give it a name I'm gonna call it Superbase Auth YT generate now just go to the Superbase dashboard and then go to project settings then inside configuration go to authentication and if you scroll down here you have this SMTP settings so so enable custom SMTP for sender email I'm just gonna put my email then sender name I'm just gonna put my name again and the host will be this SMTP relay bravo.com then the username will be uh, this and the password will be the SMTP key and now just click save and that's it so our SMTP server is set up now we need to change email template so just go to authentication then email templates also go to the documentation uh, where server-side rendering then sorry password based and let's scroll down we are using the PKC flow because we are using server-side rendering so here is the template that you need to use Go to the dashboard email templates and confirm sign up just paste it over here and you can customize the template however you want just make sure that the link has the correct href attribute that should be it for the dashboard work now we need to add the form in our next app i will use the same page this slash auth page for adding the email and password authentication form Plus, from this page, you will be able to create a new account and also log in with your existing account. And I will check that by adding a query parameter. I will call it auth type. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Actually, before that, let's just create a server action. So let's create a new function. Sign in with email password. This function will be used inside a use action state hook. That's why it will get two parameter instead of one. Let's create a new client. And we need to call the sign up function. So super base out sign up. We need to pass the email and password. The form data object has a get method and you need to pass the input name. Make sure the inputs have the name attribute in it, otherwise it won't work. And let's get the data and error. Uh, 
also we need to read this if there is an error we're gonna return an object success null and error will be error dot message otherwise we will return another object the success message will be please check your email and error will be null we also need to create an API route because if you see the email template it is actually using slash out slash confirm and previously in our OAuth videos we had used slash out slash callback and the codes are also going to be different so let's create that so inside app auth then create a new folder confirm slash route dot js and let's get the code from documentation so here is the code copy this that's it now we can finally add the form to our ui so first let's get the query parameters and check if user wants to log in or create a new account and we can get the query parameter using a hook called use search params and let's get search params let's get the auth type We also need to make it lowercase and I'm gonna paste the input code so it's pretty simple we basically have the input email and the input password make sure you have added the name attribute this is what it looks like and let's also add a link like already have an account or sign up so I'm just gonna paste some code over here basically if the auth type query parameter is equals to sign up we want to give them an option to sign in if they already have an account so we have this link already have an account otherwise we will show them a sign up link and now we can add a submit button here i will call a function render submit button text Now let's create the function. This function will basically give you the text needed for the button. For example, if all type is sign up, then it will show you sign up. So let's add a switch statement or type and default will be it's just sign in if sign up we will return sign up and if we go to the browser we have a button for sign in if i add a query parameter or type sign up now we have a sign up button and the link is already have an account if i put some gibberish it will show you sign in and now let's handle loading and error state using a hook called use action state i have created a separate video about it but basically it's a hook that allows you to have state when using a form action so let's add the hook use action state and it will be coming from react inside the hook you need to pass two arguments first one will be the action which is the server action but the server actions are going to be different based on the query parameter either it will be sign up or sign in so let's create a function for that get form action we will use the same switch statement if the case is sign up then we will return sign up with email password otherwise we will return sign in with email password which doesn't exist for now so I'm just gonna comment this default part 
and now let's call the get form action function and let's pass a state and let's get the state and form action this is the actual state this is the form action that we need to use inside the form and this is the same function that will be passed over here and this is just the loading state now let's go to the form pass an action attribute and pass the form action let's get the error and success state Now let's display the error and success message. I'll put them under the submit button. Also, I will add a uh, or text. So in the browser, we have an error. Uh, so let's go to line 11. And let's put this or type to here. And now we don't have any error and before test it out let's just delete the existing account that we had so let's try it out sign up and now we have a success message please check your email so I'll check my email here we have a new email confirm your sign up so this is the sign up link let's click on it and now we are on the home page this is the email and it says created with email so that's how you can actually create a new account using email and password so now let's see how we can sign in with our email and password so i'm just gonna log out and now we'll go to sign in now let's go to the actions file and create a new function let's create a superbase client here we need to call the sign in with password function so await superbase auth sign in with uh, password and we need to pass the email and the password like before and let's get the data and error If there is an error, we will send a message. And now in the get form function, just uncomment this default block and add sign in with email password. And that should be it. I will add email and password. Let's sign in. Um, error form data is not defined. Okay. So let's go to the function and add the parameters, previous state, and the form data. I actually forgot to add the success and error state. So let's just add that. Now we should not have any error. logged in successfully um, we should also add a logic to redirect and you can use the redirect function so let's try it out again uh, we can still log in
the sign in and now we are redirected to the home page and we don't need this uh, success state so that's it for today's video if the video has been helpful for you don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel in the next video i will show you how you can reset a user password so until then stay safe goodbye